Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of watch collection. Uh, today I want to talk about Garrick uh, Watchmakers, uh, an English watchmaking company out um, near, well, in Norwich. Norwich is northeast of London, in fact, even northeast of Cambridge. Uh, way out by um, Yarmouth, uh, Great Yarmouth, out in that area. And um, they set up shop there about 2014, a group of, of watch lovers and businessmen and watchmakers and so forth. And in 2016, uh, they produced uh, the, their first movement uh, called the, the UTG-01, and they did it with Andreas Steller. Andreas Steller came and helped him, and he's he's one of the best, just, just a super great guy. And what they've taken is very much the kind of, making the kind of, of watches I, as a watchmaker, uh, would want. Uh, there's uh, a lot of engine turn, uh, Guy Locher, uh, the, the hands, they make the hands and the dial, good finishing, lots of good finishing, and uh, modifications of some other movements as well. And the thing I like about it is that they, if you're getting one of these watches, you know what you're getting. I mean, there's not this usual kind of thing of, well, we have a Swiss made movement. They don't tell you what it is. Uh, Garrick does and uh, good for them. And they also make their own movements. So let's take a look and, and see what they got. Now, one thing they, <laughs> they didn't do, I think they fired all the people who were good at making creative names. So it's S2, S3, S4 and so forth. Uh, and their watches are pretty pretty good size. Now the first one, the S2, uh, it's one of my favorite. I, I have several favorites, so I'll, I'll keep saying that. The thing I like about this one, about the uh, S2, is this great big balance wheel with held up by, uh, you've got this single bridge going across there and you can see it from the front. Now, if you look on the back, you can you can see sort of the bottom part of it and the uh, the escapement wheel. Yeah, this is a uh, uh, this is a cool looking watch. And then you have the the engine turn Guy Locher. Uh, and, and by the way, too, um, I've only shown like one model of each model. They have different colors and different designs and so forth of essentially the same model but some differences um they uh this particular one runs at four hertz which uh which is okay it's not my favorite i like the slower ones uh it's got a reserve of 45 hours very attractive watch now the what i'm putting down is is the price without the vat uh because you got some countries you ship them to a country they'll put vat on top of them for example if if you bought one of these uh and uh it had it shipped to germany or the united well not the united states but canada or some other places where they have vat so i just put it down without the vat in pounds because that's how it was presented now this one is sixteen thousand six hundred and sixty two pounds and 50 pence well uh, whatever whatever uh, currency you use, you can use a currency conversion to take a look at it. And then the back of it, the other thing about this, uh, all of their movements, I mean, all of their watches, you can flip them over and they have a nice view of their movement. Now, this next one, the S3, this is another one where there's great big uh, balance wheel. And again, this is in front. Now, as far as being able readability of of what time it is this this model is pretty hard to read uh and it's also a fairly expensive one but uh really really an amazing looking one with uh 
what do they call it, open face or something like that so you can see all of the movements. And if you love looking at movements, and I do, this is a great watch. But I also like glancing at it and telling the time. They have some different colors. I put a blue one and a red one. I think they have some other colors as well. Uh, this one uses the UTG-04, 18,000 GPH. Now with the uh, semi oscillations per hour, uh, RBPH, I guess, call it that. 45 hours, free sprung, Trinity balance. Uh, they call it a Trinity balance because it's got three spokes in it. Uh, what I like about this, with that nice big balance wheel and at 18,000 semi oscillations per hour, you can see it. You can see it just, God, what a beautiful watch. Then you flip it over on the back and again, you, not a lot to see in the back on this particular model on the S3. Okay, this, uh, the next one, the S4. Now this one, uh, what the S4 has is that it has different models based on whether they have a frosted dial or an engine turn dial. And by engine turn, we're talking about an engine turn Gilo Shea. Um, now this one, and, and another thing, I think all of them, all of their, I haven't mentioned this, but all of their uh, movements are hand wound. Uh, this caliber, now this particular one, this caliber, they call it the BFO3. They're, the other ones, notice they call UT, and I'm not sure what the UT stands for, uh, but this one's BFO3, and what it is, it's a modified 6498. Now I happen to like 6498s a lot. Uh, I suppose the only downside, a, a lot of their watches are pretty good size. This is uh, 42 millimeters. But if you look at the back of what they have done with this, <laughs> starting off with this 6498, what a beautiful modification. And you have a free sprung balance, uh, which you do not have I, on a 6498. It was in modified um, a good deal. Uh, for that and you can see all of the the little um, weights on the on the balance wheel there as well as the engraving 21,000 uh, VPH what a just a just a honey of a watch now again here you have a, it's about 5,000 uh, pounds for the frosted version and a little over 62 for one with the uh, Gilo shade now the the s5 um, this uses the UTG05 caliber. It's manual wound. Uh, it's got a unique three-point bridge. Now, the thing about this one, you've got a 39 millimeter uh, case for it. Uh, you have the anchor hands and um, the chapter ring that was added to it. This one is a, a relatively new one. Now you flip it over on the back and you can see the, the balance wheel. Now the balance wheel on this one, even, even at uh, three Hertz, it's pretty s relatively small compared to the other ones. Uh, but still, you know, it's not some kind of mule beating up the movement like a rented mule, so to speak. Uh, this one's uh, 16,000 pounds and this is again uh, except for the VAT all of these are I didn't include the VAT for the same reason now uh, the S um, the S6 is a, a pretty new one uh, in fact brand new I think it's just coming out this year 2023 uh, it's updated an updated S4 it's got the same uh, movement, which is a modified uh, 6498, a little more modern dial. Uh, it has sort of the sword hands and then the anchor hands that you can choose from. By the way, too, with all of these watches, you just you, you <laughs> contact them and tell them you want it and everything is done to your specs, which is, I mean, at these prices, it's very hard to find. Um, Again, you have two prices, a frosted dial. The one on the left is uh, 5412. Uh, the engine turned one on the right is 6245. Um, and again, like I said, you could choose your hands, your colors, and, and some other things that they allow you to do. The, on the back, the same thing on, on the back. Really have a lot of different options for you so you don't get... 
you don't feel like every watch is like every other watch I just bought. Now, here's another one of my favorite, and I have too many favorites. This one is a regular, they call it the Regulator Mark IV. It's got the UTGO2 caliber, and uh, this one floats at 18,000 semi oscillations per hour. It's got a free sprung uh, balance on it. And the if if you like regulators, I don't know why I like them, but I do. Uh, thing with a regulator, each re each dial is on a separate, or each hand is on a separate dial, either the main dial or a sub dial. Now this one, the center dial, you have uh, you have minutes uh, up there about uh, ten o'clock. You have the seconds and a uh, either I, I like the term eccentric seconds because they're sort of not in the center they're somewhere else and then over at three o'clock they have the hours and and then you have that big wonderful balance wheel right there in the front 18,000 semi oscillations per hour you can really see the thing what a beautiful watch um, well <laughs> To, I, I suppose I shouldn't be, you know, too giddy about this uh, brand. Um, I never trust people who are, but I like these a lot. Uh, it's Like I said, it's an English brand, something you might want to consider uh, if you are looking for a watch. It's sort of a mid-price. They're not bargain prices. They may be bargain prices in terms of this quality, I might say, but they're, I mean, they're, they're sort of in a sort of middle, high middle uh, for for watches, starting around five, and again, we're talking about uh, pound sterling, and they're a little more than uh, dollars or euros or Swiss francs. So anyway, something you might uh, be interested in. If you have one, I'd really like to hear your, your thoughts, your views on it. And in general, I'd like to hear what you think of these uh, watches. Uh, this is an opportunity to subscribe if you like. Until next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Sci, the art and science of Watch Collection.